If you need your badges grinded or are looking to buy or sell an account, make sure you hit up Goat Plugs. The link is in the description. Please, please, please listen to everything I have to say in this method so you can unlock the full potential of this method. You are only hurting yourself if you do not. This is on Hall of Fame, 12 minutes. This is the current gen version. The next gen version is next. What you're gonna wanna do is put on special delivery badge and put on quick first step. If you don't have the badges, it's okay. This method still works, but when you get the badges unlocked, please put those badges on. And then obviously put on pass accuracy if you are able to upgrade it. If not, it's okay. Just wait. And when you can upgrade it, upgrade it, duh. So quick shout out to my man, Boki. He is letting me use his footage. Please go subscribe to him. His link is in the description. So step one of the method is you want to get on a team that has somebody who can catch lobs. Just go in your roster and see who has Lob City finisher on like gold, silver, or Hall of Fame. If you don't have anybody who can catch lobs, ask for a trade or you're just going to have to deal with somebody who can't catch lobs. But highly recommend getting a good person who can catch lobs. Next, you're going to want to play bad teams with a bad rim protector. You know, uh, don't play the Jazz. You have Rudy Gobert on that team. He's a good rim protector. Play somebody like the Kings or the Hornets who have a bad rim protector. Next, to speed things up, you're going to want to get into a half court trap and you're not going to play defense. You are going to cherry pick. Just stay at the three point line a little above it on defense. You want the, uh, the other team to score or miss as fast as possible so you can get back on offense to do the playmaking method. Okay, so here is the method. You're gonna get the ball on a 45 degree angle, roughly. Just go in the exact same spot as him in the video. You are then going to manually call for a screen from the best lob catcher on your team. How you do it, my voice is cracked. Sorry, I had deep long stuff in my throat. That was a joke, okay, or not. Anyway, so, <clears throat> excuse me. You are going to manually call for the screen. Let's say, for example, he is triangle or Y. You're gonna tap L1 or LB and then hold down his icon for the pick. So you would hold down triangle or Y and that is how you manually call the screen. Then you're gonna do a momentum or a speed boost or behind the back, just, to, just any type of speed boost, a momentum or between the legs works best. Then you're going to dribble to the mid range area so his man can pick up on you. And then as soon as he picks up, throw that lob. Patience. Wait for him to get open. If it's not open, it's okay. Dribble the ball back out and call for the lob. You see right there. It wasn't there. He passed it. He asked for it back and reset the play. This is easy. I hope this helps. Let's get into next gen. And again, go subscribe to my man. Hope this helped. Subscribe to me. Let's get into to next gen. But <laughs> This is the next gen method. Wait, hold on. That's not me. That is my man IQ. Thank you for letting me use your footage for this video. Go subscribe to him. His link will be in the description. Now, since that's not me, I'm just going to put this picture of me over his face so you don't get confused with our faces. We look nothing alike or sound anything alike. So, you're going to put this on Superstar, 12 minutes, okay? Same initial steps as current gen. Pay attention, because if you don't pay attention, you'll screw up and you will only be hurting yourself and not getting the most potential badge points possible. Now, for the badges to equip to make this easier. If you don't have badges unlocked, it's okay. But when you do, put these on first. Put on quick first step. Special delivery. Special delivery should be the first one. Bullet passer and then needle threader. I don't know why he doesn't have it on silver, but it'll work better if you have needle threader on at least silver or gold. So that's for the badges. Again, if you don't have them locked yet, just wait. The method still works. Just keep doing it till you get these badges. The next step, and I already know people skip through this and they're gonna miss out. Ha, idiots. So what you're gonna do for the next step is get on a team with somebody who can catch lobs. So preferably lob city finisher on gold or hall of fame. If not, you can either work with what you got or you can ask for a trade. If you can't ask for a trade, just you have to go through it 
without the good catcher it's okay this method still works it'll just be a little uh it'll be kind of upset when your man's wide open not catching lobs iq was on a bad team so you know it's the same he was in the same boat as you guys you could probably get 60 to 70k a game if you have somebody who can catch lobs then the next step is you're gonna make sure you're playing a team that is not good like make sure they don't have a rim protector for example don't play the jazz they have rudy gobert why would you want to play somebody who can protect the rim play a team like the hornets or the kings who does not have a good rim protector duh then on defense you're going to play a half court trap and cherry pick on the three-point line so on the side you're playing defense stand around the th three-point line and just uh just don't play defense because if you go back further they'll get off of the rebounds for some reason it's like they do this to eliminate cherry picking your goal is to get as many offensive possessions as possible now for the actual method what you're gonna want to do is stand the deep hash okay you're gonna manually call for the guy who can catch your lobs to do this you tap lb or l1 and hit hold down their icon so they come set you the pick you're gonna stand deep hash okay stand deep hash now pay attention right before your screener is about to set his feet and screen start your speed boost so as soon as he sets it you can speed boost out of it and get that nice animation where the guy gets obliterated by the screen and you're gonna run to the opposite side of the free throw line as you will see right here so you're gonna go to the opposite side of the free throw line and throw the oop obviously make sure he is open duh if he's not open don't throw it now if he's not open pass it or dribble the ball back out and do it again don't force it patience fellas easy peasy now let me show you the little bonus tip right here after every game after every game you're gonna go into your team practice load up hit circle or b once you're in there to get your drills you're gonna do the one man drill and as you can see excuse me <clears throat> excuse me you get 1300 every time you complete it uh you have to get all three stars but this is not hard i don't know why it's hard this drill is very very easy so 1300 times four i believe it's 5200 call me albert einstein or something like that so that's 5200 extra per game so let me show you how to easily accomplish this drill okay so the method iq used is actually not good uh, so you can use this if you want but uh i will explain how i do it sorry about that basically as soon as you get the rebound just instantly pass the ball and wait for the front defender to go to them and then just call for the ball so you can shoot the wide open mid-range shot or you can do his method it's up to you either way you need to just this is a very easy method like this isn't hard and you have to do it you get that extra 5200 i hope you guys enjoyed this video i love you all again shout out to Boki and iq both their links will be in the description have a good day go out Bye.